Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Kellen here with Droid Life. Focusing this time on Android Beam, which has been upgraded significantly in Android 5.0 Lollipop because it's been added to the share menu. So we'll talk about why that's important in a second, but for those not familiar, Android Beam is the uh, feature that was introduced a couple of versions in Android ago. Actually, it's been a, a, quite a while. Uh, but basically the idea was uh, you have a picture or a URL or a Google playlisting or something you want to share from one device to another. So you would put those devices together, tap on the screen, and uh, basically send that information over to another device. It's, it's a cool technology, although there wasn't a whole bunch of uses for it. And it was kind of clunky because you had to initiate it by putting the phones together. Then you had to do an awkward sort of finger press on the screen to get it to send and all that stuff. So again, it's changed for the better now because you can initiate a beam through a share menu in just about any app. Basically any app that has a share menu, uh, you can use Android Beam through now, which is awesome. So it eliminates the awkward finger press. It initiates it. All, basically, all you have to do is bump devices together. It's really awesome. So let me show you how it works. If we jump into Google Plus Photos, and uh, I've got a photo up here. So I've got my share button and tap that. And you'll see now there is an option for Android Beam. So if I tap that, it should initiate a beam. And there it does a little zoom. And really, it says just tap your device to another device as long as NFC is going. And we'll go to this device and you can see right up top there, we are incoming Beam. So it's a photo, it, you know, Beam is still not the quickest thing on earth to uh, send and receive, but it does work. And so there it comes, I'm just gonna cancel that. Uh, so that's using the share menu. Uh, where this becomes really cool though is if you open up something like say a file manager and you wanna send a file. So let's say I wanna share an APK between two devices. I can now do that pretty easily. So here is the photos APK that was pulled from, uh, I believe the next six. So if I go ahead and tap on the little menu and we tap share and you can see share with Android Beam and it's showing at the top because I've been using it. Uh, so I'm gonna say just once and uh, get my little share thing and just do a quick little bump together and we should be sharing between those two. And here it goes. And it's still thinking, but once it initiates, you can see there it goes. So it's sent, beam complete. Now if I go over to this device where I just sent that to you and tap on that, it actually opens right into that APK and tries to install it because I don't have that installed on my device. So you can see how cool uh, Android Beam is now that it's in the share menu. Now you could do some things too, like you could go into Dropbox. Um, so Dropbox. And let's say I wanna share something from Dropbox. So I find like an app and I do share and Android Beam and initiates a beam and we tap devices together and that'll open a, a browser direct URL right to the Dropbox file I was just trying to share. So by, by adding it to that, uh, the share menu, it, it becomes much easier to share information in general with Android Beam. It's not just a tapping together, trying to finger press. You don't have to have the item up on your screen anymore because you can initiate things by tapping on share. You can sort of send just about anything. Now, I've, I've played around, APK files work. I tried to send a .zip, it failed, and I'm not sure why. Also don't know size limits. And also keep in mind that sharing uh, over NFC is not the fastest thing always, uh, but, Overall, you, you sort of get the point. It's, it's a lot more powerful, works a lot better now. So uh, again, Android Beam now part of the share menu in Android Lollipop. Uh, we've got more features coming. Stay with us, Droid Life. Peace.